Okay, here's another um, look at how we need to fit the crutches. You need two to three fingers in here between the top pad and her armpit so that you're not compressing the nerves in her um, axillary region. And we also want her to have a 15 to 30 degree bend in the elbow so that she can get a good push through her arms so we're not hanging on our crutches and compressing nerves. So go ahead and let your arm kind of just go straight. And you see how the wrist is level with this pad. We need that so that she can get a good grip. Um, grip on. Had a girl. Have your child move both crutches six to eight inches in front of them at the same time and then advance the non-injured foot past the crutches. Make sure your child does not swing the injured foot too far out in front of them as this can cause a fall. So the right way to guard your child if they're um, a little unsteady with their crutches is to have one hand up here on the shoulder and if they start to tilt just a little bit, especially forward, you can just give a little steadying push to their shoulder, not too much because you don't want them to fall backward. And another good thing to do is put your hand on their waistband so that if they were to go um, or to fall backwards, you can kind of correct them forward and you have this hand on their shoulder to keep them steady upright. But you can also, if they were to come back, have that hand on the waistband and then kind of come behind them and sort of sit on your knee if they were to, to lose their balance. So let's go ahead and walk ahead. Okay, so one thing you don't want to do is to be overly cautious because that can cause loss of balance with your child on their crutches as well. So let's go ahead and walk, and this is a way not to guard your child. Does that make it a little harder for you to walk with me real close? When going up the stairs, have your child go up with their non-injured foot first. When going down the stairs, have your child lead with the crutches first. Have your child move both crutches six to eight inches in front of them at the same time and then advance the non-injured foot past the crutches. Make sure your child does not swing the injured foot too far out in front of them as this can cause a fall.